All right, so we got a new patch notes for global here. Uh, update and maintenance info for a new banner for Happy New Year banner, which is a very is easily skippable banner, by the way. I just looked at it. Uh, it just has Liz, Green Dean, Amalia, and Jericho. Three not very good units. So right now, I would say anyone that isn't saving gems for the one and or Assault Meliodas, you're just playing the game wrong. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying this the first 30 seconds so you hear this. Please, save your gems for the one and or Assault Melee. Those characters are so fun and so good. You don't want to summon for Red Elizabeth, alright? Regardless, uh, first before I actually look in this info, in maintenance info, I actually want to shout out this other post here on the forum, which is voting for the, um, the Catastrophe skins that people have drawn so there were already voting i'm guessing i didn't actually catch the first uh, wave of voting but the first places of each individual character now have a specific voting so i'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can vote for your favorite um and yeah there's a costume for each but only one of these will be picked so you pick for whatever you think is best i personally will not be giving my vote because i think it would be unfair it would skew other people's votes but i'll be uh, you know going over this right here so this was the one for shin that's being voted looking very sexy of course as a police officer uh, i think this looks very similar to the halloween costume we have but regardless it looks very good valenti okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna give one opinion over the costumes that is a personal opinion i wouldn't pick valenti just because she's valenti but <laughs> roxy as a um you know, th this costume reminds me of, uh, what was it, Daldry? I don't know why, I, I don't know why. But this uh, little bit of lollipop and just very girly kind of uh, static. Uh, Mono looking very futuristic. I mean, it's more like of a, it reminds me of like a Deus Ex, Man Ex Machina, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but it looks very good as well. All these look very good. Camilla is like a rebel schoolgirl. Lilia looks very similar to... Um, um, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of a costume. I think it's also one of Lilia's costumes, at least the top part in the blue here. Also looks very good. I mean, it's Lilia, of course, it looks good. And Easton here with more of a, a dark, emo sort of Easton. They all look very good. Uh, and these are the second places. I don't believe you can vote for these, but I'll skim through these regardless. Oh. Oh, this definitely got more votes. They just put it down. <laughs> Um, just, uh, real quick, go over these. Oh, th what? This Lilia didn't win? I would, okay, I would instantly vote for this Lilia. Are you kidding me? What? How did this Lilia not win? Look at this art, it looks sick. I need this person's Twitter. Or Instagram, whatever. You, you are sick. Whoever drew this, you're so good at art. Jesus, you look so good. Oh, I... I want this Lily so bad. Oh, I'm, I hate you for making me see this and I want this skin. Look, the eye patch looks so good. How did this not win? I'm so upset. I want this Lily so much. I'm sorry, whatever shows me, I'll not be as, as impressed. This looks so good. Jesus. Can can second places win? Oh my god. I'm sorry, your Lily looks good too, but like... Bro. Bro. This looks amazing. Okay, let's... <laughs> sorry. sorry for being sidetracked, but god, it looks good. So, whoever wins will be uh, a skin in the game. So vote for the first places that you found better. Uh, get, again, that, that Lilia is not the Lilia you'll be voting for, unfortunately. But uh, the Lilia is still here. Uh, you know, that one is also very good. So whatever character you prefer, you vote for. So let's take a look at the actual maintenance notice here. Of course, the banner, very skippable banner. That's a good thing. Um, I do recommend skipping this banner unless you want the, um, the costumes for getting the raids, which... 
I think the only reason you would actually like actively want to get a specific raid is if you want to level up like cosmetics because if you want to just go efficient you spawn as many red demons as possible kabuki told me he does that uh he spawns as many red demons as possible to get like hp upgrades for his haircuts because it's like the most efficient right um but other than that there's no reason to really specifically want just like spawn exact demons right um you can just get random demons and just get your raid materials as is happy 2021 um more events happy 21 exchange uh, exchange shop special battle event daily tasks two times raid material salvage supers oh that's good event drop pickup event and 100 percent hammer i don't get why global still does this on jp hammers are 100 percent all the time there's no event Hammers have been 100% on GP since the half anniversary. Global is almost a year old and still doesn't have 100% like all the time. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Why does Global does that? It just boggles me so hard. Uh, SSR ticket, a Garrett, like select bundle. That's good. If you are pay to win or pay to play, I mean, let's be, let's be real. We, we are pay to win, right? If you're pay to win and you, uh, you want to get just specifically one character, it's a good thing. Uh, normal PvP. Oh, oh, season rules. Super awakening stats are not applied. I actually don't like this rule as much as you would think. Super awakening after like the uh, the uh, like needing dupes uh, thing was removed. Jo Global never had that because Global got super awakening the good way. JP, we were like test rabbits, right? But uh, Global already got super awakening like fixed. Our Super Awakening, when he first came out, you needed dupes to Super Awaken. Like, if you wanted to Super Awaken Lost Fame Alley, you needed to, like, 4-6 him um, and stuff like that. So, Super Awakening was really bad, but these days, not that bad. Like, you're gonna have all your good characters Super Awaken anyways. So, not having Super Awaken isn't, like, that great. Um, doesn't really change the game that much. Uh, Nighthood update. The next, uh, okay, it's uh, Calic next. I know some people like Calic. I hate Calic. Um, Calic is good. For getting the uh, the f four or not on JP it's six thousand points uh, on global is four thousand points. Um, Calic is good for getting the points easy, but Calic is also super RNG heavy for like getting the high high points like eleven thousand, twelve thousand. Um, and if you're like a, in a competitive guild, you have to do that. It's just so annoying. Okay. Why why are they doing this? I mean, this is a regular thing. I don't know why. Like, Hawks... Oh, was Hawks still passive buffed until this day? On Global? That's that, That's been so long. I mean, if it is, okay. Um, but yeah, Hawks going back to normal, I guess. Uh, just uh, ending events, alright. So, uh, honestly, there's not much going on next uh, this week on Global. It should be fair. It's... Um, it's uh, gonna be a dead week for both Global and GP. Uh, it's weeks. A it's a week, you know, after festival, so it's usually kind of dead. Uh, I remember, um, what was it? Liz was the only festival that actually had something the following week because Liz uh, was the anniversary, and then Red Zaldrus came out afterwards the next week, and like Red Zaldrus was super cool because it's Zaldrus. Uh, but like every every single festival was like King released on JP, and the ne next week all the content for the week was costumes for Hendrickson. That's it. That was the whole content. And this time for Global, of course, we're getting this, like, repeat banner because it ended up clashing with New Year's. One thing is, though, Global is still to have... Let's, uh, let's go here on the uh, release of characters. Global is still to have Red Fat King. Where is Red Fat King? He released with Luminascula uh, not so long after... Yeah. Red Fat King released on 14th of November of 2019. We're in 2021 and Global still doesn't have Red Fat King. Um, and they're still not releasing uh, Green Easton either. So Green Easton should be coming soon at some point. Again, at some point. So we'll see. Where's Green Easton? Green Easton came out on 16th of July 2020. Green Easton, Blue Valenti. I don't know if they're gonna wait for summer because these are summer characters, but um, again, these characters should come out at any point. Green Easton is a fantastic character, but honestly, I don't recommend summoning for her when she comes out on global. Just because she was really good at shutting down 
assault. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just thought about assault melee, but shutting down a, uh, you know lost vein, blue skinny king and the goddess list teams. But you know festival king already came out and he cucks her. So if you're using green east thing, you face a king, you're gonna lose. Which is very unfortunate. I don't know, honestly, how much people are using King on Global. I'm assuming a lot of people skipped King uh, because he, he like he isn't the best these days on JP. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, skip up a week. Uh, make sure to vote for your favorite art, and uh, that's it.